I think our, our uh, symposium or our program here is on public health and obesity. So I think that models can be used in this sense to um, curb the obesity the epidemic, improve markers of health, identify people who are at risk um, for developing obesity, um, help women manage their weight during pregnancy. So in all aspects of health markers related to obesity, mathematical models play a big role in there. Well, this is a perfect example. So the National Institutes of Health calls this translational research, research that starts at the bench and ends at the patient's bedside. The models are the bench. So I would begin, for example, be, uh, with a clinician telling me, look, Diana, can you write down a model that would predict how much weight a patient should lose if we put them on a certain diet or a certain restriction? I would begin then developing the model putting it together and thinking about, and I would ask the clinicians, you know, is this what you see? Does this make sense? Um, you know, if it doesn't make sense, we try to find another expert in the field that gives us the right data to put it together. Then the model's finally built. We're all satisfied with its predictive ability. The next step is programming this into an application that they can use that's very simple, um, doesn't waste time. So then we have a professional programmer, and we're very lucky that he's a mathematician by training, a logician and he eventually became a computer programmer. And he sits down and programs, he knows the math, um, he talks to the clinicians, sees what they need, programs the whole thing into the specs that they de demand, and then we use it to cancel patients. So I, um, <clears throat> the bio biology is such a big area, right? Um, I'm more interested in the behavior aspects of people, which is under behavioral psychology. Um, but it also can tell you, uh, models can tell you um, what's expected, what's predicted, and when people deviate from that, there has to be a biological reason why they deviate, you know, whether it's behavioral or there's some physiological mechanism in their body that made them deviate. But those people that deviate from models, I think, are an important example of where mathematics tells you that there's something going on that's deeper.